Today is April 28th, 2015, and yesterday there was a big rally with gold and silver. Today the price went up, but not as big as rally. But is this rally for real? And is it a lasting rally? Or is it just a technical correction? Okay. So, I'm going to have a different tangent. Corey C. has a new channel. with, with uh, So, on the YouTube kind of interest thing, right? Sometimes there's a big lull, and then a few people come back, and then there's a lull. And uh, for, for, for several months, I just lost the ability to speak to an audience, right? I, a lot of these... A lot of the video content that I normally make, I thought in my own head, but I just didn't feel like um, blabbing my mouth all over the internet. I don't know. So I guess today I feel like blabbing. So, several topics, and they're going to tie in. I read one of the most amazing articles I've read called The AI Revolution, The Road to Superintelligence. Now, this article will relate to markets and of course back to silver. So this shows the the exponential growth of computers. And with exponential growth you get to something like this. So basically this article is trying to talk about artificial intelligence, where we are and where we're going. It says there's, there's three stages. The first stage is you have machines that have like expert systems, like a machine that can do one thing better than a human. Like the chess computer. A chess computer can do one thing, play chess better than a human, and that's all it can do. And right now what's happening is we're developing computers that can do one thing better than a human. The next step is artificial intelligence becomes as smart as a human. That's like a, there's a second phase. And the third phase is artificial intelligence becomes smarter than all humans put together. So, this is kind of one of these um, science fiction-ish science fiction -ish kind of articles where they're trying to speculate on the future, which is very hard to do. So, supposedly, you know, any any year now, we're, 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 we're you know, we've already hit the part of AI where uh, an AI system can do one thing better than a human. Uh, the next transition, though, is smart as a human. I mean, they're they're trying to they're trying to speculate like on a, you know, how it will happen and so forth, and quickly it will happen. But my question goes back: is where will this super intelligent come from? Like wh where, right? So, and the answer is is where we're throwing money at things. And I see two things where we're throwing tons of money at. One is. Search engines like Google, right? A lot of this amazing stuff that Google is coming up with, like being able to spy on us so effectively. Another one is, of course, Wall Street. I read other articles saying that how a lot of these Wall Street firms are actually high tech firms because some of these Wall Street firms employ more programmers and engineers than many other industries because they want it's high frequency trading, AI. They want to create a machine that can dominate humans when it comes to trading. And maybe we're kind of already getting there. I see, I really don't know the secrets of Wall Street high frequency trading algorithms, but maybe they're developing something that can just out trade humans. Well, I know what people are some people are saying is that yes, there's a human behind the AI that gets the benefits of the AI. But the fact of the matter is, is what if these expert systems become so great on Wall Street that they can just outtrade the humans. And then the other thing, what happens when you throw enough money and computing power, because it appears that the JP Morgans and the Goldman Sachs, they're throwing a lot of money at the, these things. What happens? Like when they become like human intelligent. Because look at the path we're going down. To quote the, the, the Age of Ultra movie, is if you keep throwing enough money and technology, and you have the best minds in the world. We have the smartest minds in the world working on these Wall Street software systems. What happens if they eventually create an AI smarter than a human, and it's a Wall Street computer? 
you know, we watched Terminator, the rise of the machines, where the, the Terminators want to destroy humans. Well, if you're programming a machine to win in the market, and then it becomes intelligent, what's its goal? To get its goal isn't to kill the humans. Its goal is to take all the humans' money. Maybe this is the road we're going down. Is there's going to be an artificial intelligence in like a J.P. Morgan computer system that's going to take over the whole world? It's going to. How can you trade a hum, humans trading against a super intelligent machine? See, the machine is going to know our weaknesses, our emotions, and it's going to out trade us. And then the every asset in the world is going to belong to a J.P. Morgan computer artificial intelligence system. Okay, I'm, I'm going on, on a wild, fantastic journey of the imagination here. But you get the point. Where, where, where will artificial intelligence um, pop up where the most money and resources is, is, is put to? And that seems to be those Wall Street computers. They're throwing a ton of money and resources at them. So... The market's rallying, right? The stock markets are rallying, and maybe the market knows that we're on the verge of artificial intelligence, super artificial intelligence, and that's going to mean that a corporation will have only a handful of humans, everything's automated, blah, 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 blah. Or maybe the other thing is the definition of a bubble is the people inside the bubble can't see the bubble, no matter how smart they are. I get some really, really smart people who've been following me. And they're saying things like, the market will go up forever. We're in the new reality stuff, right? Well, uh, I've heard that kind of thing before. I mean, maybe we do have some super future happening right now. And yeah, the market will keep going up. But I mean, it will go up forever and ever and never correct. I mean, I've heard that before and I've heard it ends badly. But I'm, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, look at. The, in the industrial revolution, 2% of years, what the economy has gained for the last couple hundred years, maybe if we hit this super intelligence, it will go up, it will increase from 2% to a higher percent. I, I don't know. But I just want to say is I, I think it's funny how a lot of the people who give us lectures on markets are now saying, the markets will go up forever and ever. And it's not a bubble. And of course, the people in a bubble can't see bubble. But I don't know how much more it's going to go up. So going back to the precious metals, is was this um, some kind of um, correction or is there something going on? Although, Mark Armstrong, it seems he's changing his tune on gold. He's saying the gold and the dollar could go up. In his last post, he hinted that maybe his original prediction of gold 900 may not go there. I'm just looking at the speculation. So, I think my final point is, is that when you have super intelligent machines. So what happens when these machines become self-aware? I mean, if we keep spending billions on Wall Street computers to make them smarter and better traders, eventually won't they become self-aware? And if they become self-aware and their goal is to make as much money as possible, what will happen if they decide to intentionally to crash markets, to raise markets, to crash them? Because when the markets go like this, Right, the money, the the money goes to the to those who are. It becomes a game, and the money goes to those who are the best at the game. Maybe a J.P. Morgan, Morgan computer is going to own everything. Okay, I'm done. I'm done enough with my fantastic speculation. This article is a really good read. Um, I have a criticism: is that this in the late '90s, the guy Hertzwell or Kurtzwell or whatever, he said by by 2012 we'd have. Um, like spiritual machines or whatever. No, it hasn't happened yet. So his predictions are either off or maybe a little bit too fantastic. But the, but the future, I mean, the future is unknown.